Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. And this time I've got this picture that I took. This was taken from a boat on the Yorkshire coast. We're on a bit of a Yorkshire coast thing at the moment. North of the wall. <laughs> so yeah, I took this picture. I thought, how to make a nice painting. So I'm gonna have a go at it. What I quite like about it is the way the light is warming up this bit of rock here. We've got this warm areas of light on the rock and the dark and then we've got these big clouds and we can play around with that. The water is a bit bland because it's a bit samey isn't it? But you don't always get massive waves when you look out to sea so... But you can always paint them in if you wanted. <laughs> so I'm just going to stick that on this uh, stand that I've got. <laughs> And uh, okay, so let's uh, get things started. I'll use this brush. This is a, uh, a Winsor Newton artist brush. Um, so let's just go for it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for something. Let's go for it. So let's uh, use some of this ultramarine blue. Oh, I know what I need to do. I was almost going to dive in, but it's a good idea to do a quick sketch, especially uh, especially uh, since this is something I've never painted before and it makes it easier when you do a sketch. So let's sketch this. Uh, so we've got the horizon, we'll have the horizon line along here, I think. That'll give us more space to mess around with the uh, sky. <laughs> so I enjoy painting the sky, so we can do that. Um, then we can, I think I'm going to change things a bit, because my photo, you know, it's alright, but I can always make it better by changing things. So I have a rock there, rock there, bright rock we'll have there, then it goes up, cross, up, cross, up, <laughs> across. Hmm, but then I'm going to lose the darkness, which I like. So maybe we won't do that. Maybe we will have to have it stuck out. Yeah, because this bit was dark and I like that. And then that bit comes out. And then that goes out. And that goes there. I want that to come more, make that a bit more there. Sort of like that. Something like that. Do I like that better? I think so. I think I like that better. So I'm using a toned ground. This is a uh, a bit of acrylic uh, paint on top, with actually mixed with some gesso, because I still want it to have a nice tooth. <laughs> so I used a gesso as well as acrylic to, t to tint it. You can do that. No problems. Right, I'm looking at sky. So let's, uh, we're going to have a clouds, the big clouds, sort of go like this, which I quite like. Go like that. The big clouds. Right there. And they go off. I like the way they go behind this hill, well, cliff. So yeah, that'll do for that. Um, the water is sort of a bluey green. It's a bluey green water. I might paint the water first today, just to show you that you don't have to always paint the sky first. Everyone always thinks. And I used to think, let's paint the sky first. 
So, blue and green, viridian green, and ultramarine blue. Viridian green and ultramarine blue. I actually think that colour is close um, to what it would be. Some white, let's throw some white on it, just have a look at it. So, looking at it now, I can tell it's a bit too blue. In fact, <laughs> I wasn't even showing it. So I'm just putting blue in and green in. I might put a bit of brown in there. More blue and green. See, with this, this now, it's too, too green. Throw more blue in. A bit more blue in. Tell you the weather at the moment is weird. I was, uh, <laughs> I went out because I'm growing a sunflower. I really want to paint a sunflower. I've got this great big one growing, which it's only just managing to survive because I've, uh, I've had battles with slugs, <laughs> and uh, they won. I tried putting copper around it. I tried. Uh, I'll just start blocking this in. I think we're about right. It'll do. It's a bluey green. It'll do. We'll see what it looks like. Yeah, I had uh, problems with slugs. I, I tried. I've got this copper wirey stuff that I put like a coil around it to stop them from climbing it. Didn't work. I, uh, I tried porridge oats, but I went out and there they were scoffing the porridge oats and, uh, and they seemed fine. <laughs> Bigger than ever they are. At one of my other sunflowers. But luckily, one of them is being allowed to grow. It's going to be big and strong, I'm hoping. Hopefully, I'll get a nice flower on it. Hoping. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't want to uh, kill the poor slugs. Because they're just trying to make their way in the world. And uh, now they're all giant slugs after they ate the porridge. <laughs> I thought they would just fill up on the porridge and then uh, they wouldn't want to eat the plants. But it didn't seem to work for me anyway. Maybe it's because it rained and it swelled the uh, porridge up before they ate it, so... Oh well. Anyway, we're blocking in, blocking in, blocking in, blocking in. Blocking in. Enjoying ourselves, we're painting. And uh, we have some desire to do something good. So the sun's blasting in through the door. When when I sat up, there was no sunshine. <laughs> None at all. It was dark clouds and raining. I wanted to put my washing out, but because of the dark clouds and the rain, I couldn't put my washing out. But now, the sun is blasting in, blasting in. Right, so we blocked that in, and now, <laughs> you have to watch yourself because you don't want to start detailing any, anything don't detail anything so I'm holding myself back I'm not going to deal it detail no detail not yet and I've used my favourite sky brush now damn I'm going to have to use this one to do the sky it's a bit smaller but it's alright we can still do it so why do I want to do the sky now and not... Why don't I just paint in the uh, the land blocks and then do the sky? Could do that. Could do that.
but for this, I think it's best to do the sky. <laughs> I'm not giving any reason. There is no real reason other than that it's the best. Right, let's... <laughs> Ultramarine blue, look. Bloop. In with my white. I've still got white on the brush. You see, I'm, I'm thinking ahead. There's some more of that white. A bit more, I think. So I want to create the lightest light first. So we've got white and blue, white and blue. It's quite nice actually. It's a nice, a nice bluey white. Right, so onto the sky. So we just want, we want to start light and we want to go up to to about there, there. So my white's quite thick actually. I can't, I quite like that. Get more of the blue, blue and the white, blue and the white. Nice light, nice light. So I'm just filling that in. So, <laughs> when I first started painting, I used to worry about everything. Worry about brush strokes. Worry about what's the right brush stroke. Well, <laughs> if I could get a time machine and go back and tell me, so say there's imagine there's me there. <laughs> There's me across the room watching me. <laughs> so there's two of me here. Um, there's me watching me paint this. And, uh, and, and, and my brain is just, it's spinning around, trying to work out what's the best brush stroke? How, how, how do you do the brush strokes? What, I mean, how are, you do, how are you deciding that, you know, your brush stroke should be this way? <laughs> and should they all be the same size brush strokes? I say that because I used to think that. <laughs> mm. Well, the actual answer is whatever you want. Um, if I could go back in time and tell myself, Jason, Jason, listen up. Here's a tip for you. Here's a tip. Don't mix your white and your green like I just did there. Because it makes a mess. No, that's not what I'd say. I'd say, um, Jason, you worry too much. You're worrying way too much. Actually, the brush strokes that you do are the right brush strokes. Forget about the brush strokes you see the masters doing because they're their brush strokes they're not yours so forget them load your paint paint your painting the brush strokes you put down are your brush strokes they're yours not theirs not anyone else's they're your ones so they're the right ones and I wish that I knew that because I would stress out over that. <laughs> I mean, there might be painters much better than me watching this thinking, oh, I never had that problem. I just got my paints and I was, I was away. But painters, some of us, we're not, not as good. We don't have natural talent, so we have to work it out as we go. And we hopefully get better as we go. <laughs> we try to. We're always trying to reach another level. So I was in a museum today looking at some paintings. Some masters. Master paintings from my area. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah. You look at the uh, what I'm doing now. 
is I'm really focusing on portraits. Just fixing that there. Just fixing it. I'm really looking at portraits at the moment. Seeing how they did it, how they put it together. But, you know what I said. It really is the same. Portrait painting to landscape painting. I'm actually using my knife to take the colour off my paint. Not the colour off my paint, paint off my brush. Just scraping it off. Uh, because I want less paint on. So I'm going to start doing some of these clouds. And I use a paper towel or a rag or whatever you've got just to take that off. So that's good. Happy with that. Just making sure my camera's surviving this um, weird lighting. <laughs> Seems to be okay. Right, so let us make a cloud colour um, for the dark part of the cloud. Now in my photo, they're quite blue really, so I'll get some some of the crimson, some of the blue. Can you get a touch of the brown? A bit more of the blue, a bit more of the crimson. That's what we got. So we've got kind of a dark here, it's a bit, obviously it's too dark for the clouds. So let's get some white. Got some white in with it. A bit more of the white. And we got here a nice greyish blue. Let's have a look. Too light. So if it's too light, let's get some more of the red and the blue. A bit more of the brown. A bit more of the blue. So we're nice dark now. Does that look alright to me? Yeah, I quite like it. We'll check. When we put it on, we'll check. Because we don't know. Not really. <laughs> oh dear. So, we've got bluey, a bluey grey now. A bluey grey. Um, we're going to start putting in some of these clouds. Hmm. Mm, okay, so I'm gonna uh, start there. There we go. What does that look like? Yeah, that looks all right. So some of this red is gonna show through. And we don't mind that. Over there. A bit more of uh, more the colouring here. Got those clouds there. There. I've got a bit of a strip of them there. Some cloud that goes right. Okay, I might load my brush, other brush, with some light. Just loading my other brush with the light blue, light blue, because then I can go in between things, because I can see light going uh, 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 there, 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 there. So I can go in between my light and dark now, which is good, which is good. It's good to have a light brush and a dark brush. So I've got a cloud going over there. So I might think about the dark, thinking dark priority now, dark priority. I'm not worrying about blending, blending, mixing it up, 
um, actually blending, blending skies. It's a funny thing actually because I used to always want to blend, blend, blend and these days because I'm using brush strokes I don't really want to blend anymore. Don't really feel the need to blend, blend, blend. In fact, I'm not sure about blending anymore. <laughs> I guess it's something that just happens now because when you're putting your brush on and paint on, I'll do you an example. So I'm going to grab some blue. Got more of a bluey colour. Here's an example of me not blending, but it's blending. So we've got this brush stroke here. I'll turn it into a cloud. Maybe there. there. But you see it's still blending, look. Just by the brush strokes and the paint blends together, but it's not mixing it up. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> makes sense to me. Would it make sense to Jason that used to uh, want to paint? <laughs> not sure. Not sure, because I'm a slow learner. So I'm going to put some dark in here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some paint moving now. Scrub it on. Scrub it on. Get the paint moving a bit. Sort of finish there, 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 then it all sort of starts going in there. Okay, screw that in. Now, um, I want to go a bit darker on the top, so put the blue and white. <laughs> Nicely shot of the palette. <laughs> Bit of the blue and white. I'm gonna start putting in some colour at the top. It's sort of a greyish, bluish colour. Just scrub it in. Don't be afraid of the canvas, it's strong stuff. They make parachutes with it. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Scrubbing it in. Scrubbing it in. So skies. God, I love painting skies. Skies are so fun, dramatic. So you can have your sky either, you know, just a sort of plain blue and white and not much drama if you wanted. Or you can up the game, dramatize the sky, make everything angry. <laughs> Or you can make everything calm and happy and tranquil and flat. These flat, straight clouds. Happy, <laughs> happy clouds. <laughs> so let's go into some more on the dog. So I'm gonna sit back, sit back, sit back, sit back. This looks good, looking good. It's looking exciting, movement. Power in the sky. Some of the red coming through in the clouds, I like that. I think I'm happy. I think I'm happy so far. Uh, what I want to do, using a bit of white. <laughs> I think I need to wear a hat. Because <laughs> that light's not good. 
Okay. I am considering the hat. Okay, welcome to the uh, jazz show with Jason. <laughs> so I needed a hat because the sun is blasting from outside right in my eye and I can't see what I'm doing. So we've got the hat going now. I'm not trying to steal uh, Clive's trademark at Clive 5R. <laughs> You'd find this funny if you saw me wearing this hat. Right, let's see what we can do now. We've got this color in. Uh, uh, um, do I want to? Yes, I'm going to put some red. I'm going to put some red in my color. Let's get some more of this white. Red. Uh, Lizard and crimson in it. Lizard and crimson. Lizard and crimson and white and whatever was on my brush. And now. Yeah, I can see things so much better with this hat on. Maybe this is a magic hat. It's gonna make me paint better. Let's uh, let's go. Let's go. We've got this. This like that. Like that. Yep. I like that. Red, get that red in there again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just going for these brush strokes, the light in there, and then it goes along, along. light over there. So a lot of things have changed by the way com compared to the uh, photo really. Um, but I don't want to paint a photo. I want to paint um, something that has a similar representation of the photo. <laughs> oh, I look funny in that hat. Maybe there's a casting director watching this and they think, oh, we need to uh, cast a new detective. Who can we get? I know. Look at this painter. He looks perfect for the job. <laughs> right, so let's have a look at that. Now what I want, I want to go middle in now. Oh, the light's gone. I can reveal my identity again. Right, get some of that blue. I want some more of the blue. I'm gonna blow up some of these clouds. Just making sure things aren't getting ruined by this. So I'm just going to blue these clouds. It's funny when the, uh, the sun suddenly disappears like that. And now it's back again. <laughs> right. Back again. Let's carry on. I want even more blue. The, the clouds were looking a bit, a bit, I don't know, a bit not 
Not as lively as I wanted. So I'm adding a bit more of this blue in there and I'm trying to use my strokes to change things a bit here and there. the way it's looking now. I just felt I needed a bit more of the blue in my colour. And also with these strokes as well, these angular strokes. Get more movement, don't I? And that's always the one thing that I want. I always want movement, movement. Sitting back having a look. Always sitting back having a look. Always, 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 always. Movement, movement, movement. Some areas need less. Okay, let's sit back, have a look at that. We've gone a bit crazy with this cloud. I don't really like that way that goes there. So I'm gonna uh, kill that. This would look better, I think, as a combo cloud like this. Combo cloud. Yeah, if you're into uh, painting outside, <laughs> just saw myself on camera. If you're interested in painting outside, then uh, get yourself a hat because the sun can be a very big problem. Very big problem. And uh, and you find yourself getting the sun blasting in your eyes and you can't see your painting and it is very difficult very difficult indeed some of these clouds are really faint so ah, let's, let's sit back and look at that I uh, quite like that now there's not enough going on behind so let's Create stuff because we've got layers and layers and layers of clouds here. It just happens that this area was stuck out. There's actually a bit of a pink glow actually in the white as well. So I'm, I picked up some crimson. I'm going to put that in there, just a, a hint of that pink, pink and white, just a bit of crimson, pink and white, in there, maybe a couple more, <laughs> something else, when you're, when you're out painting, you start to not really care about how you look, <laughs> like hats like this, you're just not bothered. Well, I'm not anyway. You're out painting and enjoying yourself, and that's all that matters. How's that look? How's that look? Get rid of that one there. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I quite like that sky. Get rid of some of the red, very red bits. 
I don't mind a glimmer of the red powering through, I just don't want it all. I do have a bit more of a into that blue in there. Right, I think are we happy? Are we happy with that sky? We want more. We want more. Okay, now we're happy. Now we're happy. Are we? Yes. Right, let's uh, wipe this brush because this will be quite a good brush to do uh, the next stage of the painting. The next stage. So I had this hat on my skeleton. <laughs> so I bought a skeleton, uh, a plastic one, of course. <laughs> and uh, what I want to do is paint it. And I've not got round to doing it. I don't know why. I really need to get get going on that. Right, we've got all too much going on on this palette now. So let's. So what I do. When you get into a mess like this, just scoop it up, put it over there. Scoop this water up. In fact, I don't really need it. So I'll just scoop all this up. And we'll get rid of this completely. We don't need it. So we'll get rid of it. Grab yourself a baby wipe or some paper or a rag or whatever. I'm using a baby wipe and I'm just wiping. Look at this, wiping it. And that gets rid of that. And then wipe that away and then this is the first part of the painting complete. This is where we can look at it and make decisions on whether we want to continue in the way that it looks. I quite like the liveliness of the sky. I have to say, I do like the liveliness. It does look quite lively. I would like... <laughs> hmm. I would. I would like this line to go down like this. Yeah, just that. I just wanted that. Everything else I'm okay with, and everything else I'm fine with. Right, let's start. Wipe that on a paper towel. Let's start putting in the dark of the mound. Mountain? There's no mountain. The dark of the uh, cliff, which is sort of brown and sort of this. Burnt umber, burnt sienna, bit of blue. Burnt umber, burnt sienna, bit of blue. Looks about right. So what I think I'll do is scrubby, scrubby, scrub. Screw in to about there, I think, to about there. Scrub, 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 scrub. To about there. Do we scrub the whole thing dark? Tempting is that it is tempting because what you can do is you could scrub the whole thing dark and then just put lights on not literally don't put bulbs on your painting I mean uh, <laughs> just lights highlights we like highlights we enjoy highlights I do enjoy putting on highlights they're exciting 
Just making more of this dark. Um, decision, decision. Yeah, I think I will. So let's scrub it on. Scrubby scrub. So that's that one. Just looking at the different areas. Of course, you know, it's our painting, we do what we like, we can change it. That's a lot there. So I'm going to attempt, <laughs> I'm going to attempt to do one of these episodes outside and out and about. Um, hopefully it'll work and uh, does have its disadvantages painting out and about because of the light and stuff but I'm sure it's possible I think I might have just painted myself then <laughs> so I'm going to leave that red dot there because of the red of the under part of the canvas because that's where I need to put a strong light and that'll be okay as is like that beautiful we are pretty happy with this so far Okay, so next job, next job is we need to um, <laughs> what do we do? Well, I quite like there's a, a this gray area here, and <laughs> that was like when I first started painting. There was gray areas everywhere in my mind. <laughs> I didn't know what was right, what was wrong. So I'm making a grey look, a uh, bit of the blue, a bit of the brown, and a bit of the white. It's about, it's about right. So I always go a tiny bit lighter than what I need when I'm doing that. I'm gonna wipe my, I think I've got paint on my face. So, got some white on the old. Yeah, I always go a little bit lighter because I've already put a bit of dark on and uh, and this is gonna make it a little lighter. So, uh, I might do these brush strokes this way. Gonna go in gonna go into this mix that I made for the dark to make a colour that's in between this now. Because I don't want this bit to be as light. And I'm gonna bring this down. I'm gonna leave a bit of dark there. Okay. So I'll do. Just use my finger to get rid of that. Um, this bit's quite dark over here. Bit more of the blue and brown in my colour. Bit more of the blue and brown. Because this is quite dark. I don't really want to do too much. Same with this. I might lighten that bit. Kind of nice to lighten it a bit. That. I might pull this into that because it kind of does do that. 
Um, what I need is some burnt sienna. Burnt sienna and another brush. I don't know why I do funny accents. <laughs> right, burnt sienna. Look at this. I might get some yellow burnt sienna. I'm gonna boost this a bit. Boost it a bit. Yeah, chrome yellow it is, chrome yellow. I don't know if I mentioned uh, my palette. It's titanium white, alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue, viridian green, chrome yellow, burnt sienna, and burnt umber. Just in case I forgot to mention it. Because, you know, when you're painting, you just, your mind just goes into the painting. And you don't think about anything else. The sun's gone in again. <laughs> right, let's uh, put in a few of these, you know, these little bits of glimmers of whatever the stone is. It's a sandy kind of stone, isn't it? So don't forget to always sit back and have a look at your painting. Don't just accept what you see as you sat there because um, you'll find... One of the things I find anyway uh, is it actually looks better when you walk away. <laughs> not that um, it's wrong, not that because you walk away you see less mistakes. Um, because it just does, it looks better because most paintings are not supposed to be viewed up close. It's just, it's just not the in thing. And you know, I, I know what the in thing is because I'm wearing the in thing hat. <laughs> you know, what would, uh, really make my new found look good it would be uh, to wear sunglasses as well but then I won't be able to see so let's not do that one uh, let's just have a look at that it's not bad it's coming it's coming let's uh, a bit more be more confident. You gotta be confident. When you're painting, just get confident. Just don't care. Yeah, that's where the brush stroke needs to be. You put it in, you use your all your might and do it. And don't worry. Like I said, that brush stroke was supposed to be there because that's the way you put it there. And you did it, so it's right. I'm just going to mix a bit of this in with that as I bring this bit of rock in with that bit of rock. Okay, what I need is some lines that go down, down, down. Down, down this way. Bit of a bit more of a yellow and burnt sienna. Some of these bits are lighter than others. And it goes up there. Now I want to use this sort of uh, middle of the road tone with a bit more of the brown in it to pull some of this down.
them lines in. A few of the darker lines just to uh, give what I've put already some depth. Some darker, deeper lines of strength. I like that. I'm going to throw in a bit more of a lighter colour here. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> bit there. Yeah, I like that. Uh, now we need to go lighter here and we also need to put some green in as well so shim. just gonna put a bit of yellow in my color so this goes there and then not so light goes along here. And while it's got darker, I can do this. Okay, sit back, have a look at that. Right, I need a green. So we'll get some of this uh, Viridian green. Some of the crimson. Some of the yellow. There we go. That's quite a nice green. Look at it brown in it. Yeah, that's better. I don't want it to be too bright. I do want a nice green because we've got green in amongst this. We need to put it on uh, mostly the surface and mm. I just put a bit more red in it to dull it because it wants to keep um on the dull side really so we've got some of this green in green Liking that. Just sitting back, having a look at that. Do we like it? And then I want this green, um, a bit lighter, to go across there. Maybe a bit more yellow in it. There we go. And then I want the dark. So I'm just picking up a bit of uh, blue and brown to darken that. I doing enough enough brush strokes for this to make me think I'm okay and move on. 
I'm getting there. I'm uh, Yeah, I'm pretty close now. I'm pretty close. Okay. Right, let us... Um, let me just do a few more that go down there. <laughs> Right, I think I'm doing too much now, so I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave it. We'll accept it, and we'll have a look at it now as a whole, including uh, the water. Because now we can look at it as a, as a, in a sense, we're looking at it as a finished painting. And uh, we can decide what we want to bring out now, what needs pulling out and what needs sending back. And, uh, and then we've got a bit of a game going on, a bit of a painting game. Right, let's use this brush. I need to, uh, I need to tone this area down a bit to that. Now I want to put so a bit of the crimson and the yellow make our orangey colour. Put the burnt sienna in there. That's about right. This looks quite strong. I'm going to put that in. This rock that's there. Okay. And now that same colour, I'm thinking I might just blast it in a few areas. Now using the uh, same brush, I'm going to get that light, just to show you, get some light in, in here. And I'm just going to pu pull out some areas. Because there's a bit of light that goes down here and then here. Pull that out and uh, there is a bit. And we've got these bits that go along there. 
and then it comes around. Okay. Same idea, I'm just throwing some light in here. I'm going to pull out a few areas in this as well. Okay, and also just throwing in some yellow. I'm gonna pull some out here. Okay. a bit there. Okay, what I'll do for that. Right, I need to work on the water. I need some white in my blue. Need some white in my blue. So there's a light strip. There's a light strip that sort of goes along. And over here it's got has a bit more just going into some of the white. Just using these uh, little brush strokes that go like that. some of these out so just wipe my brush <laughs> get 
some of this uh, light through in the brush. And it's kind of a more light. Using the sort of a curvy brush stroke. I'm going to cross over some of these lines. As it gets further away, it gets more, more flatter. Okay, let's throw in a few more lines. up a little bit more of the blue in under my brush. So I'm thinking as I'm in a bit of a breaker here, even though there isn't one, I kind of want one in mine, sort of like there. A little bit of a splash there. I quite like that idea. Using a bit of the uh, water. Just mix that up a little bit. Yeah, I quite like that. A couple of splashes there. Maybe this one's gonna come in afterwards. Who knows? This looks a bit like a breaker coming there. And you can do that. You can uh, change the weather. <laughs> you can make it look a bit more like there's something coming there. A bit of the blue and green. Just darken that there. Okay. Sitting back, having a look. What I want 
There's a, uh, a light a bit on there. And I could do with... I mean, <laughs> I don't know how long I've been painting. I just set my paints up and thought, oh, I want to do a painting. Um, probably should think about finishing. But I want to uh, pull this down. Sit back, have a look at that. Now I want to change it a bit more. <laughs> so I could spend forever on a painting, absolutely forever. Could be painting all the way through till tomorrow. But I think I'm probably going to have to stop because otherwise this episode is going to be 50 hours long. So I'm just picking up some white in amongst the blue. So uh, they need more stronger strokes because it's not not reading as well for me. There we go, that's better. I like that better. Sitting back, having a look at that. Just dulling my paint a little bit. I'm going to put a few uh, right. <laughs> we better. Uh, Better stop. Right, I'll call this one uh, finished for now because otherwise I will keep going and going and going forever. And I still feel like that needs that there. There. Right, thanks very much for watching this and I'll see you in another episode. Cheers, bye.